Here's a quick video of the stepper motor clock conversion I did for my 77 Celica. The factory clock is a mechanical clock. It's got a little motor in there and a bunch of gears that take back and forth. And uh, the problem with that is that when the temperature changes, the speed of the ticking changes and you lose or gain time. Um, I had mine timed really well at room temperature indoors, but when it was outside, when it was cold, I would lose five minutes a day. And when it was hot during the summer, I would gain nearly 15 minutes a day. So it was accurate for about a week in the spring and the summer when it was, you know, averaged room temperature. So that wasn't very good. Um, I uh, decided to convert it over to stepper motor so I can control it with an Arduino, which will make it much more accurate. I bought a clock face from a 98, I believe it's an Audi A4, I don't remember exactly. Um, but it had a clock down here at the bottom from the factory. I stole the stepper motor out of that and the hands. Took my factory clock apart. Uh, this face is the factory clock, uh, the, the face from the factory clock. I mounted it onto the stepper motor and the stepper motor I have mounted onto just this little board. Um, put the fingers back on there and I wrote a program up here uh, for Arduino. I just called it clock up there. Um, I can share that, share that code with you if you want, doesn't matter, just let me know. Um, but right now I have, it takes about six steps for every minute. So basically I just have to tell the Arduino, step it forward once every 10 seconds, and then it will keep accurate time. Um, I haven't really measured how accurate, it was from yesterday when I left it to today, so around 20 hours or so, it was I think 30 seconds off or so, I don't know. Um, eventually I'd like to make it GPS controlled so it sets itself, but the problem is the stepper motor and the Arduino has no way of detecting where the hands are, so it doesn't know what time it is. So I have to figure something out to get a zero detect feature in there so that it can detect when the hands are at, say, 12 o'clock or whatever other time I need. In the meantime, I've got these two wires here which will go to switches, which I'll be use, using to set the time. So when I uh, ground this one, it sets the clock going fast forward. If I do the black one, it makes it go backwards. Now I also have it set up that while I'm going in any one direction with one button, if I press the other button at the same time, it goes a lot faster. That way, you know, if I'm off by 12 hours, I don't have to sit there forever waiting for it to take over back and forth. And then I let go of the second button and it goes fast and I can get it to exactly the time I need and let go of the first button. And then we're back to telling time, just, you know, one tick every 10 seconds. It's been fun so far. I need to figure out a way to mount that, you know, the entire face assembly down inside the factory pod but that won't be too tough. I need to get rid of this little black button on top in the factory clock. You would push that in and and rotate it and that's how you would set your clock. I need to get rid of that because obviously I don't need it. Um, eventually I'm going to just laser cut a new plastic face for this so that I get rid of that entirely but in the meantime it's just going to have to stay there. Right now I'm using an Arduino Uno but I'll, I'll be uh, moving over to using, well, that one's dead, but I'll be using an Arduino Nano, and this is the uh, same microcontroller that I use for my gauges, which I don't have here, they're upstairs, but you can see them in some of my other videos. Um, basically, I just need to make a board to, you know, attach this to the clock, mount all of that inside here, and then there's a uh, back plastic piece here somewhere. I think my son took it. But there's a back plastic piece that has four wires that go into the back. You know, originally you had power, ground, headlight, and uh, I don't know what the fourth wire was. I think it was just I think it was just blank. It had a pin in there, but nothing went to it. But with those four wires, I'll be able to get power on ground and the two switches. Um, eventually, I'll move the two switches to be using a voltage divider, so it's just a single wire going into an analog in pin, and then I'll use the fourth pin and the connector on the back of this for a headlight turn on. Or I'll just reprint, you know, draw up and 3D print the back cover by itself and make it turn it into a six pin connector, and then it you know won't matter either way. But so that's. That's my clock there. It's taken me 
I don't know, three or four hours of coding, writing the program for it to get it to work, and it's pretty fun. So let me know if you have any questions.